here, right now, at this moment. Because tomorrow, you want to be somebody greater than the person you are today. You see yourself succeeding. You have a vision. You have a dream. Congratulations. You're already 10 steps ahead of 95% of the world. Imagine if Michael Jordan was scared of missing. He would have never taken a shot. Imagine if Steve Jobs was afraid of people not liking his product. There would be no iPhone. So ask yourself this. Do you want to be a person who fears failure or do you want to be a person who loves success? Which one? Because you're going to have to pick today. And I'll tell you one thing. One is a failure and one is a success. And if you love success, there is nothing that can stop you. Stop you. All those negative things people say will mean nothing. They're going to talk about how only 1% make it to the top. Big deal. Want to know something else? Only 1% stick with that fitness program long enough to see results. Only 1% of nerds stick with that video game long enough to get good at it. Only 1% of relationships stick it out to the end. That doesn't mean you have a 1% chance. It just means you can't behave like the 99%. You'll have to do something better than giving up a month from now. Those are just numbers. You want to talk about numbers? Take a look around you and take a good look around you. Are you like 99% of the people around you? If you are, then you're in the wrong video, my friend. You have to love success just as much because that's what's going to allow you to get up and go for it. Being scared to fail won't do anything. In fact, when you love success and you start going for it, guess what happens? You're going to fail. You're going to fail 10 times, 100 times, maybe even 1,000 times. But that's okay. Failure isn't permanent. Falling isn't permanent. You get right back up and keep going. And this time, you're gonna be stronger, wiser, and you'll be more driven than ever. And for every 10 failures, you'll land one success. You have to love success so much that you're willing to fail 10 times before you can succeed once. That's how a winner does it.